from the top of the Southland. First pitch, we're underway. Thatcher Hurd delivers, and it's a foul ball off the bat of Jeffrey Elkins down the left field line. Come in batting 309, but chasing a couple of school records, he'll lift this one, a base hit into left field. And on the 0-1 pitch, delivers a base hit, leadoff man aboard. That's a lot of times how you get those easy runs. 3-1 misses high above the letters, and that'll be a walk for Hurd, and that'll put runners first and second. Team doubles. She's driven in 38 runs. This one right back up the middle. Gets by the pitcher Hurd. Dugas steps on second to get the sure out. Looks to first, but holds the baseball. And that'll be the first out of the inning. Now we'll see Dante Stewart. First pitch inside. It's going to get away from Travinsky all the way near the third base dugout, allowing Elkins to come in on the wild pitch for the score. Again, it was inside. Travinsky reached out, fully extended, hit off the end of the mitt. 39 runs batted in, waits on the 3 0, and it misses upstairs for ball four. So another free pass here in the top of the first inning will put runners first and second, still just one out. Of a competitive pitch. 2 2, he elevates this fastball and a swing and a miss. Hayes down on strike, second out of the inning. Two outs, two men on, the 0 2, called strike three. That one on the outer half of the plate. Infield playing straight up, and Tommy White rips this one high in the air to left field. Giving it a look, Elkins will just watch it, and this ball is out of here. Tommy White, just his third home run to left field, but he pulls the homer, his 17th of the season, and the Tigers tie it up one all. <laughs> Ball hit a long way. I, I almost had a Bob Euchre moment there, Chris, of, in Major League, the movie, when I thought just that ball was hit so high. It was just too high. But 3 <laughs> 1, we talked about how it was a dangerous situation, and Tommy White got a pitch out over the strike zone, fastball, and he was ready for it and hit it a long way out to left field. Francis gives up his sixth home run of the season, and now we'll see. Here's the one two to Beloso. This one hit high and deep to right field. Coliani going back to the track to the wall. This one will land in the diamond deck. Back to back jacks for LSU and they take the lead two to one. Beloso with his ninth home run of the season. I guess that's how you get back on your stride. <laughs> that took a hanging off speed pitch. A ball that was working into the left handed batter was able to pull those hands in and Big strong K Beloso doesn't miss that one, gives the Tigers a lead to the one, two to one. Another ball hit extremely hard. This will come as no surprise. Another right hander up and throwing for the Demons down the way in the left field bullpen as Hayden Travinsky comes to the plate. And Travinsky, again, just his 32nd plate appearance. Not a lot of most of these LSU hitters. Travinsky's one of them. This one, a line drive to left field. Elkins going back. Could it be? It is. Back to back to back. Hayden Travinsky, his fourth home run of the season. White, Beloso, Travinsky, they all go yard, and it's 3 1 LSU. Now, Travinsky got a hanging breaking pitch as well, and the book on Francis is he's, he loves the all speed pitch. That's his best pitch, the out pitch, the one he tries to get you out on. And Tommy White took a fastball and drove it out the park, but that's two off-speed pitches that hung up in the zone. That one took about uh, one and a half seconds to get out of the ballpark. <laughs> and now you face the Bear. Beaver as a closer. Here's the 3-1. Detalo puts this one high in the air to left field. Morgan going to run out of room, and Detalo with a home run. Gets the Demons within one, three to two. Detalo with his eighth home run of the season. And again now, Northwestern State just five away from tying up the season record for home runs in a year. Yeah, just got the Talo got himself into a good count, and doesn't matter how hard you, you throw when you get to 3-1 and you catch a lot of the middle of the plate as Money did, the Talo just back legged that thing and hit it five, four, five rows into the left field landing. Another payoff pitch from Collins to the plate, and this breaking ball misses low and away for ball four. So I think LSU has the at least best path as this pitch comes in, hits Dylan Cruz in the back of the helmet. It's a little slow, but now we'll toss the bat and head down to first. So for a split second. Opportunity 
to sweep one of those last two weekends. Here's a ground ball base hit off the bat of White into left field. They're going to send Dugas in. The throw will be cut off, and Dugas steps on home plate. Tommy White adds another RBI. That's number 77 on the year. Left field landing like he did last at bat. 3-0 pitch misses outside and high, so Veloso will earn a walk. Collins 3-0 pitch going to hit him. So that will bring in a run. Dylan Cruz on his way in from third. LSU extends the lead 5-2. Bases remain loaded as Stravinsky heads to first. Here's the 1-2. Check swing. Dropped in low. They appeal to first. They say Jones went around. He's down on strikes for the second time tonight. 14 or 15. 2-2. Two -two. Right up the middle. Comes off the glove of Casio. Caroms towards Stewart. And the second baseman misses it. Tommy White will score. They'll send in Beloso. So a hot shot off the bat of Jobert right back up the middle will score two runs and the Tigers extend their lead. It'll be seven to two again. That time it looked like just reflex for Casio who's trying to probably mostly protect himself. Travinsky at third, Jobert at first as Thompson lifts this one high and deep to left center field and Jordan Thompson says I want to go yard his eighth home run of the season and Jordan Thompson with a three run blast the Tigers now suddenly lead 10 to 2 five runs coming with two outs here in the inning you said you like him in that nine hole that was a Great job on an all-speed pitch. Everybody, all the young hitters think you got to take the big mammoth swing and get long with your your swing. You don't. Jordan Thompson will prove that, as you see. If you're watching on TV, listening on the radio, that pitch is just a hanging curveball that he keeps the hands back. The 1-0 pitch. Slap down the line. Fair ball in right field. Beloso makes the turn. He'll put on the brake, says... Also hit by a pitch with the bases loaded, brought in Dylan Cruz in the third. Here's a ground ball, snagged at short by Hayes. He'll throw back to second, throw gets away from Stewart. Rolls towards the foul line in right. Heads up play below, so quickly up, gets the third. Runners first and third here with nobody out. The 0-2 to Jones, reaches out with a bat, launches it to shallow left field. Elkins on the run, he'll make the grab, Beloso. 0-2 no to Jobert, bouncer towards second. Stewart having to backpedal, now will spin. His only play is to first. Coming in to score will be Beloso running on the ground ball to the right side of the infield. The Tigers extend their lead 11-2. And you gotta be a good hitting team to get men aboard. 2-2 Two is a ground ball towards the shortstop, Hayes. He's gonna scoop it up, throw across to first to Rowlett for out number three. And the 92 mile an hour inside. This one a ground ball up the middle, perfectly placed as Thompson, the throw to first. Got away from Joe Bear, was down in the dirt. He could not glove it and arriving safely as Coliani. A sure-handed glove and just made a bad throw there. This one to Talo to right center field. Ethan Fry coming over, overran it. Gets by his glove to the track. Everybody safe and advancing. Will be Coliani to third and to second is Detallo. Money from the stretch fires, and Stewart lifts it to center field. Cruz will take a couple of steps back. Can it be deep enough, tagging up? And Coliani will score. The error results in a run. Tander awaits. The 0-2 pitch line drive. Tommy White will glove it at third. Two down. The pitch in the air, left center field. Morgan and Cruz, and Cruz able to track it down, shy of the track for out number three. Three in the bottom of the sixth. 3-0 pitch, low and inside ball four. So a leadoff walk, Dylan Cruz. Wow. The 3-2, low and inside, he will reach base by way of walk. Hit by a pitch in the third inning, he extends his reach base streak to 51 games going back to last year. O'Connor's pitch, and this one driven down the line, fair ball! Inside the line and left. Cruz around second. They'll wave him home. Makes the wide turn. The throw not coming in. Dylan Cruz will score. And Tommy White with RBI 78. Picks up his 18th double of the season. Tigers extend the lead 12 to 3. Yeah, Tommy White getting another pitch out over the plate. Not messing around either. 
not trying to get down to the count, just so strong, able to pull that pitch and keep it, I would say, a couple inches inside the foul line left field, and Dylan Cruz easily scores from first base with the good wheels. The one-two from O'Connor, ground ball inside the bag at third, this one down the line. Tommy White easily rounds third, headed for home. Travinsky with his second double of the year, give him RBI 16, and the Tigers now lead 14 to three. 3 0 pitch. Low and inside. That's ball four. So Fry will earn the walk. Here's a ground ball. One hopper to the second baseman, Stewart. And he will throw to first to Rowlett for out number three. Three in the sixth. There's a called strike three. Bugnum. The fastball inside will pick up the strikeout. One two delivery. Swing and a miss. Horton down on strikes. 2-2 delivery way outside gets away from Travinsky all the way to the backstop. That will allow Knotts to head from first to second base. Runner at second payoff to delivery and it's smacked down the line fair ball in left into the corner it goes. Knotts around third he will score. And Elkins with his second hit of the night drives in a run that makes it a 10 run game now 14 to 4 and from another run rule victory. Here's the one two call. Strike three with a breaking ball down on strikes goes Coliani and the Tigers win Tigers win 13th run rule victory of the year 14 to 4 is the final.